Corey Nates. Overbearing pomposities on the wobbled head of possibilities. A crown of ancient wrought gold, they claimed, or so tis thought. Balanced in infinite, intricate, centimetered precision. Measure twice, cut once, the archbishop had warned. But still he had to, not very carefully, jam the bloody thing on his seemingly normal-sized head. For twas his crowning glory, he was finally the hero of the story. King of all Albion. He sat and scratched his gold-plated rear, as the crowd gave a gruff, Hear, hear! A whining procession of the great and the good, as they so labelled themselves, with deepest, deepest unirony. Come to kiss his gammy hand, not the fairest in the land. Emerses from outer space arrived. This thing was far from contrived. Archdruids in finest bushy garb, alongside the Neo-Space Wizards, President of the Galactic Council, wearing a silver zip suit and airlocked helmet, hidden behind a very ornate helmet, all to see this headman in his ancestral seat, all to kneel at his holy anointed perfumed feet. But what is that stink, that foul odour, do you think, that hangs round this whole dreary enterprise? All the circumcision and psychopomp can't disguise the real bad jump, the unsavoury bite, that all this is just a play to distract you from the everyday. The Norman yoke never really went away, it just changed its name, new air, same bad company he keeps. A thousand year shell game, played out on our ancestral lands. We watch behind a barbed wire fence, pull up at our expense, by someone who inherited a country and doesn't care for you and I. Long live the king, cause he's scared of death. Say it quietly, whisper it under your breath. The law locks up the man or woman, who steals the goose from off the common, but turns the bigger rubber loose, who steals the common from off the goose. God save the king, because we certainly won't.